Well, here I am, y'all. Crusty lips and no microphone back of feed. I don't know what was wrong with me. I forgot to turn on my microphone and I'm sitting here talking like y'all understand everything that's going on. It's so embarrassing. I will get it together eventually. But anyways, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am Shantae, if you are new here. And to all of my return subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Hope you're having a beautiful and blessed week, okay? Because it is trying out here. Between the weather going back and forth, my children driving me crazy, school's about to come to the end, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with these kids. I'm stressing right now, but we gonna keep it moving. So I did a wash ago, and y'all saw that video. If you have not, don't forget to check it out. It's already up on the channel. But I have worn it for four, five days. It's time to do something with it. The, the roots was crusty in. The gel was crusty in as well, so I decided to high puff it because whenever a hairstyle is no longer hairstyling, it's time to put it in a high puff. So this is what I'm doing right now. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I always forget to say that. Do not forget to hit it. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know if this is content you would love to see. I'm trying to be a little bit more unf unfiltered on here. I feel like I'm such a perfectionist. I just don't know how to let myself just be and 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 arrive as i am i just have to perfect every inch of me but y'all it's i'm tired of it i'm tired all right so here i am with my equal style gel i'm about to put it in as you can see i'm still entertaining this camera as if the microphone is on and i'm gonna realize that it ain't on once i'm pretty much done with everything and at the end of the video i'm gonna also give y'all my everyday makeup tutorial 20 minute beat honey because that's all the time I do have. And even in that 20 minutes, I'm still running late to wherever I'm supposed to be. So it's still a freaking struggle. But we're going to show up with that hair done and that makeup did. All right. So I'm smoothing everything out. I'm going in with this nice bristle brush to brush everything down, lay it down. Since I don't have much of edges, it's not hard for me to lay my two strands down. What's the difficult part is getting that mound of hair on top of my head to cooperate with me. Because sometimes she do, sometimes she don't. At this point, again, I'm tired. I'm going to let her do what she want to do. I ain't even going to fight with her no more. I decided to pull out these two little twigs thinking it was going to do something and create a look. Uh, I don't know. It was something different. I added a little bit of gel on that to kind of help the frizz. Then I'm going to go in with some edge gel because the Eco Solid Gel don't lay down a damn thing. It really just preps your hair for the edge control gel okay because it just it does absolutely nothing as far as hold time so i'm going in with a little bit of that right on the edges and i'm smoothing it out and as you can see now my two strands are laid okay and it added a little bit of shine which we love to see that now i'm going in with my edges now <laughs> if you knew here i'm gonna go ahead and tell you now i don't know how to do edges i do not um my babies have all the edges in the world beautiful baby hair so i don't know what to do so most of the time it gets brushed up or I do this little swoop here that I that that's the best I got for you I don't know how to do no little spirals no cute none of that absolutely none of that now the definition on my hair was still popping from that wash and go I was really impressed by that it was just my roots was just rooting they was unruly and there was absolutely nothing I could do with them so now I'm going in with my makeup here I'm using the elf power grip primer i've been using that for like a month now and i really do like it it has like this little tacky feeling that you just gonna let you know your your makeup ain't going nowhere i'm going in with my juvia's place in the shade at 10 and this is a concealer because i don't use a foundation i kind of just like spot makeup at this point i don't do a full face i can't call this a full face i don't i don't do a full face at all i just go in right where i really highlight for the most part and i blend it out with my brush and sometimes i use a beauty blender it, it depends on my mood of the day. Now I'm going in with a contour. And to be honest with you, I am afraid of contouring. I always feel like I go too dark on my contour or it's not dark enough. So I've been going with this one, which is very much safe. It just adds like a little bit of warmth back to my face after I've highlighted. Now I'm going in with my eyeshadow and I picked up this one. This one's new too, also by Juvia's Place. She's been my favorite brand so far. I have a lot of her, I've realized. This one is the coffee shop. I'm not sure if it's a new addition to all of her makeup as, as of right now, but it's brown, baby. And that's all I do is brown. Now, way back when, maybe four or five years ago, homegirl, I was doing all the colors, the blues, the pinks, the purples, greens, walking around with five, six different shades of eyeshadows on my lid. And I was just going to the grocery store. If that's your vibe, go for it, baby. But I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm tired. I ain't doing it no more. So I go in with one, maybe two shades of eyeshadow. And that second one is going right there in that inner corner. You see it? And boom, it scared me a little bit because I was like, God damn, that's white. I, again, it's my first time using it. Then I'm going in with some blush. I want to be a little bold here. And I was just like, oh, we went a little too bold, but it's all good. We made it work. I'm walking around like a blushing baby girl. Okay. Then I'm going in with my setting powder because I'm setting all of that. My blush was a cream. So I like to put that on before I go in with my powders. I, I was told that anything wet, you need to set with a powder. So I figured cream is under wet, not dry, right? Okay. So you're following me, right? Then I'm just pressing all that in there. And then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is by Fenty Beauty, the Sunstalker, and it's in the color Mocha Mami. It's probably the only product that I have that I know the name of because I just love that Mocha Mami, okay? I will never forget that name. I'm going in where I pretty much apply all of my contour shade right up under the jaw to kind of blend somewhat of my makeup in. Now finishing in with my brows, I'm using a Morphe brow pencil and it's in the color Mocha or Java. It's one of those light colors. I don't do the bold brows. Like I used to go in with black, jet black, dark brown colors. Now I'm kind of on the light browns, damn near brunettes, because I just feel like this looks a little bit more feathered and natural for me. I'm going in with my highlight. This is my tried and true, my ColourPop in the color Wisp. It's this nice gold color. Everything on me is gold to the jewelry, to my highlight. So I might as well just, you know, keep it, keep it neutral. Ain't no need to switch up. I went ahead and did my mascara off camera because you know, you be making all them crazy faces. Ain't no need for y'all to see all that. And now I'm sitting here battling on which crayon I want to go with. Now at this point, I do have my sound back on. I realized that I, I didn't have it on, but I got it on now. But since I'm voiceover in the first half, I might as well go ahead and finish it up so i went in at first with this ulta it's an ulta beauty velvet crayon i like velvet lipsticks i'm not matte and i'm not a gloss i am definitely right there in the middle with a semi matte soft matte whatever sim you know they they got a word for everything but it looks very much like some lipstick it's just lipstick to be honest with you it's some regular ass lipstick that comes with a lip gloss tube but you know, they love to make it seem like they're inventive and I'm gonna let them have it. So I went in with this one. It's a color Glacier and it was just not mixing well with that brown. If I was gonna wear it, I should have wear it with a like a burgundy lip liner, but that brown lip liner completely muted it. And it looked like I had ate a bag of powdered donuts. And then I'm over here trying to mix it with a second color thinking, oh, it's, you know, I can fix it. I could not fix it. So this is one of those velvet matte lip glosses that I recently picked up by NYX. It's the Smooth Whip, and this is in the color Laundry Day. I picked up Laundry Day and Pancake. Now, when I got to the register, a whole girl there was just like, oh my God, you're gonna love the Pancake color. It is so beautiful. I tried it and I absolutely hate it. Maybe it's just not my cup of tea, I'm assuming so. Cause when I put it on, it just looked like I had concealer on my lips. Like, you know, back in middle school when we used to put on our concealer and foundation and we would put the concealer and foundation on our lips and walk out the house like that. That's what it looked like. And I was like, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. It triggered me. I went to fight myself when I saw my reflection in the mirror. So I took all that off and I went back with the earth color. And this is nice, like ricotta kind of, red brown color and then i went in with the laundry day right on the center perfect combination okay look at them lips gorgeous luscious she is amazing she's a total look so i was debating whether or not i want to go with lashes but i wasn't feeling lashes today i just kind of wanted to, and, and i think right in this moment i was hanging out with my girls this week and i just felt like you know lashes was a little too much this was a nice beautiful natural look for me everyday look 20 minutes fixing up my hair and we out the door. Okay. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for joining me on another one. Again, I'm trying to be a little bit more laid back unfiltered here because at this point I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't got nothing else to give y'all. I'm tired of being the perfectionist. Y'all just going to get what y'all get, whether you like it or not. But I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hit that like button if you did and comment down below if you would love to see more stuff like this. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate having you here. And we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.